Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Now, I don't know, maybe you do know this, maybe you don't. Hillary Clinton does not hold public office. What? I said Hillary Clinton does not currently hold public office. Does not. The reason I mention this is uh, I think a lot of people listening to this know that she did not win the election. I don't know that a lot of you listening to this maybe don't know that she doesn't hold public office. Maybe you do, but it seems pretty clear that the leader of Canada doesn't. Something's going on very strange here. Let's be honest about what we're looking at. A figurehead is thrown up who can barely finish a sentence and is clearly having cognitive decline. To what degree Kamala Harris is a part of this, who knows? But she's a devout communist, and we know that communism usually comes via revolution, not necessarily uh, through incremental voting, although it can. Usually it's revolution, takeover of some kind. Why would all this chaos in Afghanistan be allowed to happen? Do you realize that Afghanistan, listen to this, share this video, you're going to want to share this video just for this one piece of information. Do you realize that there is one trillion, trillion dollars in lithium? in Afghanistan. Do you realize that Afghanistan is going to work with China to get it out and use it against the U.S.? It's what's used in cell phones and everything, for instance, batteries. Um, who knows? Emerging technologies could take it over. But are you starting to get an image of some of the ways that this all interplays? You can see why a certain bit of chaos may be allowed or even wanted, particularly if you're someone that subscribes to the theory of the Great Reset, of which I'm all ears. Uh, other than a takeover, which is, you know, it's quite a... It, it is a communist takeover, maybe, but you, where does Hillary Clinton come from? Why is the leader of Canada contacting Hillary Clinton regarding this. I'm not saying asking her advice. Or, I mean, she was Secretary of State. Like her or dislike her, she was Secretary of State. It's simply the truth. So the idea that you would contact someone with her experience, if you want to use the word, God, that hurt to say, that makes sense. Other presidents have been consulted on things. But you know, draw your own conclusion here, but that seems like this is something more and uh, what it is, I mean, I'm not going to be some kind of crackpot that tries to, you know, over-guess what this means. But I think it it's worth listening to. So here we go. Infowars. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says that he discussed the Afghanistan fallout with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton amid reports Joe Biden hadn't spoken to any world leaders, then why didn't he speak to Kamala Harris? Why didn't he speak to the current Secretary of State? Why did he pick Clinton? Anyone? Quote, I also spoke last night with former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Trudeau said on Tuesday, saying that he shares, she shares our concern for Afghan women and girls. Well, if you couldn't get a hold of Biden, because he's so busy running the country, why didn't you get a hold of Harris? <laughs> we all know that Harris cares about women's rights. I can't even do her cackle. I'll try to learn it. I also spoke last night with former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who shares our concern for Afghan women and girls. She welcomed our efforts and urged Canada to continue our work. 
she has no official capacity to welcome help. She's in no official capacity to accept help. She holds no office. She welcomed our efforts in the... Okay, we just heard that. Did we miss something? It says, when did Hillary Clinton become the U.S. Ambassador to Canada? Could this be a violation of the Logan Act? For those of you that don't know, I, Christelle and I made an entire uh, documentary about... It's called Bilderberg, Why It Matters to Me. You can find it on YouTube. It's free. And we talk about how the Logan Act is being breached, among other things, every year at Bilderberg, because the Logan Act prevents anybody from working out a deal with another country outside of officially being sanctioned to via the U.S. government. Like, I can't go to North Korea and work out a uh, peace deal with Kim Jong-un as we sip some wine and eat 15 pounds of Swiss cheese. That is illegal. It was even brought up, you know, that's why, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Rodman, the basketball player, why people watched him so much. It had to do with the Logan Act. There's a link here in the InfoWars article if you want more. Uh, the bizarre admission came one day after cabinet officials admitted Joe Biden hadn't yet discussed the debacle with any world leaders. Well, that's interesting, since a lot of our allies who he claims to care so much about are directly affected by where these migrants go. Europe could be looking at three million migrants. And how many of them are terrorists mingled in, which we have been seeing ever since the first migrant crisis started, what, ten years ago? He has not yet spoken with any other world leaders, White House National Secretary Advisor, Security, excuse me, Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters Tuesday, adding that he, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, who could have been contacted, no, and other foreign policy wonks are acting as Biden's proxies. Friends, it is exactly like I reported it to you. And if something doesn't smell a little bit strange to you, you might want to get checked for COVID because this doesn't add up. That's a correct view.